Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how we can switch on and switch off an LED in live view using an external push button. We will use digital output channel of NI USB 6009. So let's get started. This is the push button which we have to use in this video. It has three legs. The leftmost leg is the signal output, the middle leg is the voltage supply, and the rightmost leg is the ground of this push button. We will attach the yellow wire to the signal output of this push button, blue wire to the voltage supply, and orange wire to the ground of this push button. The next step is to connect the push button with the deck card. We will use P0.1 channel, which is digital input output channel and connect the voltage output of the push button to P0.1 channel. We will connect the blue wire to the constant plus 5 volt channel and orange wire to the ground. Now I will connect the NIUSB 6009 to the computer system. For programming, we will use the block diagram of LiveView and place the DAC assistant on the block diagram. Since we have required the signal, so we will go to the required signal category and then digital inputs, line input and select port 0 line 1. We will use the default settings and click OK button. Then we will go to the front panel and drop a simple LED and enlarge the LED so that you can clearly see the status of the LED. Then we will go to the array category and place the index array function and then connect the DAC assistant output to the boolean through index array function. To run the program continuously, we will use the while loop and attach a control to the while loop. So now I will run the program. You can see that by default, the light is switched on. When I press the button, what will happen? The light will switch off. It means this switch is in normally closed configuration. In order to change the configuration of this push button from normally closed to normally open, we have to go to the DAC assistant and click on invert line and click OK button. We will run the program once again. So now you can see that the light is switched off by default and when I push the push button, the light will turn on and when I release the button, the light will turn off. 